Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, for some of you, this might be a shock. This is my face. This is what it looks like. For all the subscribers out there who used to just see my frogs, uh, I'm going to do an update on my frogs. I got one more giant African bullfrog, another little baby. Uh, his name's going to be Bob because I crowdsourced the name for the other one. Um, and people kept on saying Bob. So didn't want to name that one Bob. That one's name is John Gator, inside joke with my wife. And uh, bought another one just to make sure that I could get a male. Because the males are the ones that get really big. Everyone likes seeing the big old males eat mice and stuff like that. So I got two to up my odds of getting a male. Maybe I'll get a male and a female and I'll show a video of them uh, breeding sometime, which would be awesome. But so in this update, I wanted to show you the enclosure that I made, really cheap enclosure. I have an awesome 40 gallon at home, uh, at my folks' home, that I don't have room for right now. It's going to be really cool when I get to set that one up. But for now, I have a uh, giant Tupperware tub, and uh, I'll show you what I've been doing so far, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then I'll show you what I do. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is the tub that I have them in right now. Here's what I started with. Just a really, you know, cheap old uh, tub here. Uh, got some Eco Earth there, or Echo Earth, whatever. And this is the little water dish that I had uh, John Gator in. And it's a big pain. It's a pain because you got to clean it every day. As soon as he poops or pees in there, the water gets foul, and then you got to change it. So I wanted to get a big old water feature. So I did this. So I got a little filter in there. This is actually way too much water for the frogs. They are terrible swimmers. And so I've got some cork bark here. Um, this is Amazon frog bit. These are live plants. This is Mopani wood, some more cork, cork bark. I have a uh, 75 watt bulb, which actually might be too hot because it's the temperature is like 90 degrees in here, which is not great. I'd, I'd love it to be around like 85. So let me, uh, I'll take this off for you guys, show you the frogs. Alright, so here we have John Gator, this little dude, and there's Bob, this little dude. And this uh, thermometer wasn't going to stay in there very long, I just wanted to get a general sense for, for how warm it is in there. And this light um, is adjustable, so I've adjusted it down so it's not full blast on them. But even still, it's a little too warm. So as you can see here, uh, most of it's water, and then I have this little tray of eco-earth that they can dig down into. And i got some rocks and stuff, and I've tried to block this off with cork bark so they don't um, get in the water and, and aren't able to get back out. But even still, you know, I had to save John Gator earlier today because he's getting stuck. So I don't like this setup at all. It looks sweet. Um, I mean, as sweet as it can with a bunch of plastic. It'll look way better when I uh, can, like, terraform it and stuff in my 40-gallon. But as it is right now, I don't like it. So I'm going to I'm gonna reverse it. I'm going to switch it out. And this is going to be water, and I'll probably put that filter in there, which will be way too much filter for it, but we'll see if that works. And then the rest will be all eco-earth. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. So here is the final project for now. Like I said, just completely switched it up. Now it's mostly earth. And then I got the uh, little tub here as water. There you got John Gator just chilling. So here's a view of the enclosure with the lid off. John Gator chilling in the water feature. I got some uh, live anacris in there. Took the Amazon frog bit out, put that in a different tank. I put all the cork bark leading up as like a ramp up to the water. Then the uh, the earth portion is is lower. I got some oak leaves in there just to look cool. Actually, if you could see through that hole, there's uh, Bob chilling. Maybe I can get a better view of Bob. There's Bob. Bob's hanging out. He is way more wild than John Gator. He is uh, a little bit more skittish. Jumps way more. Alright, so there's the enclosure, guys. I'll keep uh, keep some updates going. You know, I, I can't wait to get the uh, actual 40 gallon up and going so it's not in this janky tub, but for now, this will do. 
Alright guys, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.